What's going on everybody? Welcome to Always Occupied, Home and Product Reviews. I know, it's been a while since I've been in the basement, but we are back. I was in Costco and I seen this uh, heater. It's like a fan, kind of, a fan heater. I never seen one with a fan on it before. This is called the Vornado. Vornado. So I guess they took Volcano and Tornado and mixed in the name together. Very clever. Um, I bought the regular fan. I think the fans that I have upstairs in my kids' rooms are the same brand. I'm not sure. I'll go up and double check that. Uh, never did a review on those, but you know, sometimes I do a review and sometimes I forget to do a review. So this says it circulates gentle heat throughout the room. So whatever gentle heat means, I guess not that harsh of a heat you know some heaters put out uh let's say a pretty good amount of heat very hot all right it says three advanced safety features uh vortex heat circulation uh two settings plus fan only so you can also use this as a regular fan so pretty much you can use this all year round pretty cool uh, touch controlled easy read display so we do have digital display on here and you have 1 to 12 hours of a timer all right and that's about it it says right here hidden cord storage so I guess you could hide your cord if you want to uh, they didn't say nothing about this being battery powered all right it says beauty and brains and basically the rest of it automatic auto climate control two heat settings um you got 750 watts all the way to 1500 watts and fan only settings and we already went through all that of course it will have a remote and that's about it so let's go ahead and get into the unboxing once again this is at costco got it for 80 bucks of course you know we have the instructions let's take this bad boy out and that's it i already have a tower heater upstairs but i had that for many 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 years there's definitely a fan on the inside right just looking around okay so here we go our cord here so you can wrap your cord up on the bottom part when you want to store it away in your storage all right that part spins all right now usually heaters I thought it had a filter but this one do not have no filter or anything that I don't see for right now until I start reading more about it you can put your hand right here. You want to lift it up. All right, let's get into the remote. Sorry, you guys. All right, got the remote. And of course, you gotta take the little safety paper off for the battery to be activated and I'm pretty sure it takes one of those you know circle batteries those 20 30 something or whatever it is I'll let y'all know that in a little bit okay you guys so now we are at the top of this thing and we're gonna hit the power button as soon as you hit the power button it comes right on got your indicator over here so red must mean power on or heat we're going to find that out here you have your thermostat over here you can go up so my room temperature is 68 and the temperature I want is 78. 
All right, and to test that, I have this temperature gun. I got this plenty years ago, many years ago. Uh, so it says 68 in the room, and I hit the wall, and I'm getting 70. Sixty-eight on that wall. That's to the outside. Sixty-eight to that wall. So basically, I'm getting sixty-eight to seventy degrees right there. Let me aim it at here. I'm asking this thing to give me seventy-eight degrees, and right now I'm getting about one hundred three. One hundred four. So it's kicking out 104 and I can honestly say that it is kicking out very hard. The highest I can go is 90. All right. I have my time. Oh, sorry. <laughs> All right. So the highest I could go is 90 to set my temperature. I got my time right here. I can set my time. To set your time, you hit the time and go up plus, and it goes by hours. Just to let you know, I just hit it and it says fan only. Now I just feel a fan. Low heat, high heat. So it's three settings fan, low heat, high heat. So this is simple, not too much to it, and to let y'all know, you cannot change the speed of the fan. The remote responds on time. All right, and there's no hook to this remote. So if you want to put it on your wall, you would just have to use Velcro. But yeah, the remote is just as simple as this is. There is no difference. Right here, you have your thermostat control, uh, positive, negative, up, down. You have your settings fan only low heat high heat and you have your time and then that's it i want to say that this thing is amazing um the actual temperature of the thermostat of this unit is accurate to the thermostat on the house uh, i looked at that already so i have my heat setting to 90 and the room temperature is 75 now this is a big room so of course i'm not going to uh, heat up the whole room with this but this do heat up areas pretty well now we had this in the master bedroom which is the biggest bedroom I would say is 20 by 20 but I am not a hundred percent sure with that right now I want to let you know about this unit is before I leave this video you can lift it up and it will kick off I guess it has a safety switch on it so if you lift it up you can move it. Maybe, you know, got the bean bag right here, but maybe somebody on the bean bag wanna be heated up. You put it down and the indicator come on that it has power and you hit the power button to turn it on. And that is a pretty cool feature. Uh, maybe because of safety reasons, I don't know, but also, when you touch the front, uh, be aware that, you know, the fins are pretty small, but if you have little kids, uh, just keep it away from little kids and stuff. They might try to stick something in there. Oops, just turn it off. They might kick some, uh, kick something, put something in there or something, but for the most part, this is nice and comfortable. This is not blazing hot. The whole unit is not hot at all. Uh, so yeah, so let me put it back up. So you lift it up right here. We went over that already. Put it back down. Pop on. And that's about it. Okay, you guys, so we are about done with our test on the biggest room in the house. So my room is basically an 18 by 18 without counting the bathroom and the closet. So the bathroom is 10 by 10 and the closet is about uh, same thing, about eight, eight by 10 or something like that. It's kind of in a weird shape. So that's give or take. 
Now I do have both of the doors open in my bathroom and my closet. And as you can see, this is keeping up with the temperature in both rooms. So that's about it with the Bornado. And yeah, like, comment, and subscribe.